but the question i think which we still need to address is uh, can a traditional hierarchical kind of structure serve the purpose or do we need to uh, break up into different pieces uh, maybe have a more uh, nimble teams uh, uh, to run innovation uh, kind of uh, initiatives and have a uh, operation so uh, is it possible that in focusing on uh, agility or innovation only you lose track of your operational requirements your quality perspectives uh, so how how do we prevent that from happening how do we redesign the organization structures to have both views or uh, to to keep your eyes on both uh, the uh, operational aspects as well as the innovation and the agility aspects uh, debashish maybe with your huge exposure to uh, uh, statistics and analysis and, and um, you should chip in here uh, yeah, sure um, thank you any uh, happy to i i i do believe uh, there is no one size you know fit all as uh, you know sundar has also said that uh, it's not like the two pizza team fits like everywhere right so the the main part of the organizational agility comes in with this you know the culture part that are you able to handle things where it is needed that is right i mean an elephant i mean the car example right elephant has their trunk and eyes and legs and tail everybody is doing a different thing and how do you do it in a synchronized manner by a governing sort of a body and still allow the limbs to do what they want to do i think that's where uh, the main uh, sort of focus area is as well so Uh, clearly i think two three aspect that comes to my mind one is about the hr you know policies the pno uh, you know policies around are are you catering to these kind of structures or not the bigger uh, couple of things in that that comes is uh, we call it psychological safety right i mean when you are trying to do an innovative idea when you are trying to do this let's say tent is a team when you are trying to launch your accelerator you know this could fail and there is a chance that uh, five people uh, who came together are not able to deliver or whatever right how is that treated in the performance management how is that seen which lens are they seen with while the traditional organizations have a uh, you know business as usual and they have to run with that how is these different initiatives that has been taken up are treated by the like organizations right so those becomes the key aspect i think trust between you know people how do you develop i mean that's one of the big uh, areas i i feel where how do you trust how do you trust the decision making of those happening or not i mean one of the quick example that comes to my mind is um, uh, we created i mean yeah under the data digital initiative so that you know digital transform when your ceo says that i want to transform my company under data digital the usual box and lines what happens is everybody starts to jump on and say okay here is my pie here is what i can here is what might happen and all of a sudden you end up with like mushrooms growing all around and some mushroom will grow you know bigger and that's how the organizations will have a, a view of it and then they will start to when that mushroom across the field you know that's the kind of philosophy that we have always uh, you know adopted so one of the things that we have done is we have for data digital initiative uh, what we have done is we have launched like a community of you know practice right so we are calling it indie genius because it was uh, originated in india and it was about uh, making uh, you know it sort of a genius uh, you know abilities so indie genius is the name but the idea is that everybody comes in put it their puts their ideas in there some of these ideas we do like a pitch day kind of a like a philosophy and like a shark tank kind of a thing and the leaders are there they're listening to these ideas and that's that one um sorry i hope you are still They, yeah. you know able to okay so so there are uh, there were uh, uh, you know these these ideas come in in one place everybody knows what's happening and they know where to get aligned with so let's say somebody pitches an idea and i am so passionate about it and so i just go and uh, you know align and join with them so i'll just leave with this one other thought that we uh, had about is the customer you know centricity i think that's that's the key aspect and for us in the pharma company obviously uh, patients is all that we sort of care for so if you go back to the you know vision statement as well we will say we are saying that our thought process is only to solve the patient's unmet need we are not even talking about our business stakeholder values we are not even talking about because we believe that if we actually take care of that then everything else will fall in place right 
And one of those things, like you asked earlier, right, how to make it patient-centric. So it is not COVID that asked us to change, for example, right? Two years ago, three years ago, we felt that some of these emerging you know, technologies we have to adopt and patients coming to the site. And if you have to be, you know, because when you do a clinical trial for your drugs and all that, you have to bring the patient near to the doctor who checks on a regular basis, maybe a weekly basis while the drug trials are going on. And they have to go to the hospital. They have to get their uh, diagnosis does, done. They have to look at the trends to figure out whether they're improving or not. Simple things like that. We started to look at that with a very critical view. And we said, if patient is at the center, why should the patient has to go to the doctor? I mean, simple things like that, which might mean very you know, simple, but we are talking like two years, three years back. And I'm glad we embark on that you know, journey because we were saying, how can I bring the hospital next to the home? How can I bring the doctor come to the patient, right? So this entire clinical trial activity, we have went ahead on this you know, journey. The only change that COVID has done, what we thought we will do it in three years, in three months, we have been able to uh, you know, adopt that. And you know, I mean, there was a dip for a month or so to figure out whether we can accelerate that or not. But uh, thanks to these three things, right? Curious, inspired, and unbossed. We were able to, uh, you know, we were curious. We knew this is coming. We knew that we have to take these bold steps. And in a very agile and boss manner, we actually made it happen. So uh, working closely with some of these companies which are making, uh, you know, ECGs as a patch or some respiratories in the app and things like that, just connected, you know, devices. And now the patients don't have to, you know, all the clinical trials would happen at home. I mean, that's the kind of... Uh, you know, agility and the organization and the question that...